So we're going to record. And we're getting it all set up for that. So you just all know that you're there for that. Welcome in, you guys. My name is Kim. I am with TC Fit. And this is Strength and Stress. So the plan is to strength train for the first part and stretch for the last part. I hope you can stay for both because both of them are really important for your overall health and fitness. Let's start with a little warm up. Keep your feet a little wider than your shoulders. Take out anything that's loose and tight. Kind of get it going on a nice, steady Monday morning. Give me a nice deep squat down into your legs. Hands to the ground. Lift your tailbone and roll your back up. We're just stretching out our back first. Nice deep squat. Hands come to the ground. Tailbone comes up and we're lifting. Let's do that one more time. It's nice and easy. I'm kind of all about the slow, steady warm up. I don't know if it's because of my age or what, but I like a nice, slow, steady warm up. Let's take a deep squat, circle that knee up and around for your hip joint. And I have fi- I find that I am right in line with what science tells us. It takes you longer to warm up the older you are. And so it takes me a little longer to get warm and ready to go. But once I'm in it, I can be in it for a long time. I just got to get there. So hopefully we get warmed up, even though we don't have a lot of time to get our warm up going. We get a good range of motion. We get good joint mobility. All the things that we're looking for. One more time here. Joint mobility, range of motion. Those are the kinds of things we're trying to accomplish. Let's flex your toe. Lift your foot all the way to your hand without bending over. So no bending over, no moving your back. You're just stretching out your hamstring. You're getting a little hip motion. Three and two and one. Switch sides. Again, rocking back into your back leg and then lifting it, making sure that you're not collapsing your spine. You're pulling the belly button towards the spine. We call that an imprint in Pilates, but it's really used for all of our strength training belly button to the spine. One more here. Good. Now fast squat. Let's just start to wake up those muscles. Get them a little blood. Pump that body. You start moving harder and faster. Your heart pumps harder and it pushes more through each muscle. It's what they need to get you moving. Four and three and two and one. Deep breath in. As you exhale, step your right foot forward. Drop into a lunge and hold it right here. Bring your hands down to the floor. You're gonna lift your back leg and then set it down. And lift it and set it down. Give me four more like that. And three. And two. And push back all the way. You've got a down dog. You're pressing heels into the ground. Bicycling the heels, stretching the calves out. Now with both heels down, walk your hands back to your feet. And roll up nice and steady and slow. Shoulders are rolling back. We're going to take that left foot, take a big step forward. Drop your back knee to the ground. Bring your hands to the ground in front of you. Frame your foot. Tailbone comes up and down. Lift and lower. So again, we're lengthening out the hamstring in front, also giving a stretch into your low back and hips. Three more. Two more. Pushing back into that down dog. One last time. Press right and left. Right left. Heels are pushing down. As you're pressing your heel, your chest moves towards your thigh. Four, three, two. Both heels are down as you walk your hands back. Roll your body up to standing position. Draw your shoulders up, back, and we are ready to go. All right, so again, we're going into sets of exercises. One lower body move, one upper body move. We're going to start with suitcase squats. So you want to grab something heavy like a suitcase. And for those of you that travel, you know what the limit is, 50 pounds. And if you're like me, you've got 50 pounds. (laughs) You've got 49 and a half. All right, so here's our suitcase. One in each hand, and we're gonna set one down at a time. Okay, three, two, and one. Let's set the right suitcase down and come up. Good, now lift it and switch. Set your left suitcase down and come up and switch. So one at a time. Now look, here's the thing. I know you can each set one down at a time. The thing is, can you do it without letting your body shift to that side? So as the suitcase goes to the ground, what you're trying to accomplish is keeping your shoulders level, keeping your hips level, keeping your body from swaying or rocking over to that side. It's just one suitcase at a time, lifting it back up. 
You're breathing as you're moving. We're working on those glutes and squats. When you set a suitcase down, it's by your side. It's not in front of you. So really want to reach down to the side. Get on those obliques. A lot of double duty that goes on in our bodies, but we're mainly focusing on your glutes and quads. So really sit back. Really sit back. Yeah, let's do three more. Pushing through those legs. Two more. This one's your last one. Now both weights go to your shoulder. You're gonna just hike them up, place them, sit back in your heels, and press. Press. Basic shoulder press. Come on, push. Yeah, I'm using the same weights that I use for my suitcase squats. So they're heavy, but we're not gonna do this. Come on, on exhale as you press. Let's go eight. They are too heavy, you can do one at a time. Four. Exhale three. Two. Exhale one, take your weight by your side. At your breath, roll your shoulders back. Back to suitcase squat, set two. Now you know where you're going. Down, up, down, up, down, up. So now we're gonna take it to a nice steady level tempo. If you don't want to go this fast, go down. If your weights are super heavy, it'll take you more time. And I get that. I would rather have you go deep and get your range of motion than go fast. Come on. Breathe as you move. Shoulders level, hips level, all the things we talked about. Come on. Nice tight core. Three more. Two more. One more. Both weight. Shoulder height. Press. And lower. Exhale, press. Inhale, lower. Soften your knees. So that you have a nice athletic stance. Your base. Body base. Is strong. You're not moving your legs to press. Focus on shoulders only. Press. Lower. Two more. Press. Lower. One more. Press. Can you give me four quick ones? This is a bonus. Four. Exhale. Three. Ooh, they're burning. Two. And one. Set your weight to your side. Don't go anywhere. We've got one more set and then we'll take a break. Shoulders back back and down. Four. Three. Two. Go. Suitcase. Pick it up. Suitcase. Pick it up. Down. Pick it up. You want to exhale as you lift. Down. And lift it. Down. Oh. Yeah, it's a little strength when you have to pick it up off the ground all the way. I know it's a long way to go down, but there's something additional about grabbing something off the floor and making your body pick it up rather than holding them the whole time. More challenging. Come on. Five. Down. Four. Down. Three. Almost there. Down. Two. Down. And last one. Ready? Hike them up. Start slow. Press and pull. Exhale, press and pull. Press and pull. Four more slow. And then we're going to pick up our pace. This time we'll try eight. Three. Down. Exhale, two. Come on. Nice strong center. One. Ready? Are burning four and three, two, and last one of that set. So down, friends, set it down. Grab yourself that water that we talked about, and let me tell you what to grab so that you or what we're going to do so that you know what to grab. 
We're gonna start with forward lunges, okay? So it's an alternating forward lunge. I want one dumbbell in your hand because as we go into the lunge, we're gonna take a little rotation for the oblique, okay? That'll be the first move. Second move, we're gonna come to the floor. We're gonna balance one leg and row on that side. We can switch legs and row on that side. So we've got a lot coming up and here's an easy way to plan it. If I'm gonna use these heavy weights to row, I'll take one of them in my hand, get it ready to go for my lunges and my twists. Feet are starting hip width apart. You wanna be toward the back of your setting so that you can lunge forward. Here we go. Right, twist, push away. Left, twist, push away. Now look at my head. I don't need to turn my head. I wanna turn at my rib cage. Yes, right there. And I also don't wanna do this, just let my arms go. Arms alone won't accomplish anything for you. I want the waistline to turn. Sit, waistline, turn, push. Sit, waistline, there you go. Come on. So just figuring it out, first time through. Remember you'll have three chances. Ugh. Come on. Twist it and push it two more times. Twist it. Push it one more time. Twist it and push. Now come down. Right leg is going to extend behind you. Left arm is going to roll up, down. Exhale up, down, up, down, up, down. Can you set the weight down and pick it all the way up? Just like with our suitcase squats. There's something about setting the weight down and having to pull it up that gives you an extra connection. I'm even letting my hand open up at the bottom, letting go of the dumbbell for a moment. So four, three, two, one. Set your knee down, switch legs, and switch hands. Pull, set it down. Pull, set it down. When you set it down, let go of it. You have that moment in time where it just sits on the ground and your hand doesn't have it. When you pick it up, draw back to your hip bone. Pull back. Pull back. Come on, nice and strong, keep your hips level. You've got four, and three, and two, and one. Standing back up, we're gonna go to set two. Now one thing I learned, is those weights are too light for me. So I'm gonna switch it up, and I think I want to know, I want you to know that that's an option for you as you move through the set. You wanna make sure you're progressing. Dumbbell up, dumbbell down. Think, twist, center, push. Think, twist, center, push. Drop low, press away strong. Low. If for some reason you're struggling with forward lunges, I hope that you can know, keep going my friend, that you can always take reverse lunges, step back instead, and then your goal would be to twist across the bent knee before you push back up. So the reverse lunges are a little more forgiving on the knees. It's a choice absolutely fine to make. If lunges don't work for you, by the way, just squat and twist. There are plenty of you out there that struggle with lunges due to injuries or things that are going on with your body. We got two more lunges, so please feel free to modify one more, and we're coming back to the ground. All right, again, kneeling position, back stays long. I'm gonna pick my right leg up, left weight to left hip. Up, down, up, let go, back. When I say up, I should be saying back. Pull it back. Unload it on the floor. Pull it. Unload it. Pull it. Unload it. Keep that leg up behind you. Can you get a little higher? Come on. Pull it. Unload it. Seven. Six. Five. Four. You feel your core working here? Three. Two. One. You're switching legs. Here we go. Pull. Unload. Pull. Pull. Exhale as you're pulling. Come on, 
on steady hips. Try not to let one side tip. Keep it strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, we've got our third and final set here. Do you need to change your dumbbells? Do you need to change one thing in the exercise? Make it happen, so crazy. and let's execute. Take control and make Three, two, and one. And let's execute. And roll and make me. Best set yet. Drop. Turn. Center. Yes, come Best set yet. How's your posture? Come on, nice and strong. Think. Center. 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 Four. Push away. Three. Push. Two. Push. One. And we go. Final set. Like you're dropping down onto a cookie stack. 
bringing the hips up. Triceps, go. Down. Down. Get your hips nice and high. Down. Squeeze. Down. Eight more, and then you're done with this eight. Hold your weights up. Inhale, tuck your belly to your spine. Roll. Exhale, don't let your arms bend and straight. Make sure you straight the whole time. Roll down. Good, my friends. Do four more for me, please. Four more for me while I get your stretch music on. You're almost there. Come on. Finishing strong, those last couple, the best ones, right? Those last couple are just the best ones. And when you're done, go ahead and set your dumbbell down next to your side. You can stay on your back to begin your stretch. We'll go there first. Your breath kind of just settle in. All right, take your right foot. Hold on, sorry, I can't see you guys anymore. I lost you, but there you are. Take your right foot into the air and just give it a nice, long hamstring stretch. Super basic to start. You can't reach your foot, most of you. You got your ankle, maybe you've got your calf. The breath is slow. Trying to remind you that with each exhale, you want to go deeper into the stretch. So don't ever be completely stagnant in your stretch. There's an active level. Let's take that knee, bend it, and drive it over the center of your body for your lying spinal stretch. Your right arm is just resting over to the side. On the next breath, bring that knee back to the center. We're still on the right leg, my friends. And you're gonna take a hold of your ankle with your right hand and just take your left arm behind your head and roll over to your left side so that you're in a nice sideline quad stretch here. You can let your head rest. This foot is coming back. And as I exhale, I'm trying to give it a little more full. So breathe and draw that foot back. On your next breath, go ahead and hang on to that foot as you sit yourself up. And then take that right leg and just crisscross it over your left. Set it down. Your left leg is long in front of you. I want you to use your hands to pick both cheeks up off the ground. Kind of move yourself to the side, side, side motion. And then center yourself out. And when you come down, boom, both cheeks come down at the same time. Just trying to level out where your hips are. And then once you're seated properly, Wrap your arm around that knee. Hold on to it here, and if you'd like to add a little more, just reach the other arm back. Make sure your back is stick straight like a scarecrow, like you have to stick up your back. On your next breath, go ahead and release that leg out in front of you. Both feet are flexed and toes are pointed upward as you reach out. Exhale, reach forward with long arms, a long spine, long legs, reaching, 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 coming down, letting the head fall. Keep relaxing into the stretch. It's easy to get distracted by the things that are tight, pulling on you, if you can just breathe into those tight spots. On the 
next breath, go ahead and pick yourself up and roll down onto your back again. Second time, this time with the left leg rising. Grabbing a hold of whatever you can grab on that leg, as high or as low as you need to. Breathing as you draw back. Again, each exhale, just giving you a little bit more. Never stagnant. Go ahead and bend that knee. Open your left arm out to the side body. Pull it across. Line with final stretch. back to the center, you're going to take your left hand, grab a hold of your ankle, and roll over to your right side, bringing the foot behind you for quad stretch. Take a nice long time to really feel where that heel goes. Now taking a hold of that foot as you sit up, you're gonna cross that left leg over the right leg, just like you did before. Sit nice and tall. Again, take your hips, lift off the ground for a moment, realign, set the hips down together, hug the knee in and take your back like you have a stick up your spine. There's no rounding, you stick up your spine. And then twist. around to the center. Draw the soles of your feet together into a butterfly stretch. Last time we stretched the legs straight out in front. This time the soles of the feet are together. Touch them. Make sure your toes are lined up, your heels are lined up, almost like you glued the bottoms of your shoes on one another. And then take your hands behind you. Keep your feet where they are. Don't let your feet move. Press your tailbone towards your heels so that you're closer. Release your hands around your toes and fold forward. Let your knees keep falling downward. You can coax your knees down with your elbows, but sometimes that prevents a deeper stretch. So just make sure it's not preventing you from going farther into the stretch. Whatever works for you here. Sitting up, you're gonna repeat that exercise or that stretch, I should call it, again. Or I'm gonna give you a new one. It's called the plow pose. It's bringing the legs over the head. That's not for everyone. If you're pregnant, if you have high blood pressure, if you just don't have that spinal flexibility, come back to this a second time, please. Those of you that wanna give it a go or you know what it is and you already know you can do it, we'll start with the legs up and the head down. You wanna make sure you don't turn your head during this. Keep your eyes on your feet. And then as you're bringing your feet straight up, slide your hands underneath your hips so that you have a nice shoulder stand to begin. Once you have your hands holding your hips up, relax your breath, chin stays in the chest as the feet fall back. They go where they go. Trying to get them to the ground, they might not go there, but try. And then again, just breathe. And if you're just absolutely not gonna be able to do this one, butterfly stretch number two.
One last breath here. Using your belly strength to bring your legs up, roll down onto your back, and then bring your feet to the front. Beautiful, come on up. Standing position, which I know is tough when we've been on the ground, but I'm gonna assume that you're gonna have to get up and move anyway after this, so you're welcome. <laughs> I got you up and moving. I didn't want you falling asleep for the second half of the day. We got work to do, right? Feet hip with the parts to begin. We're just gonna do a little crisscross of the feet and stretch out our IT band. So your right foot is gonna cross over your left foot. When you look down, you should see your toes in the same plane. So if one toe is in front of the other, back it up or move it forward so that the toes are lined up in a straight line. Once you get your toes lined up, press both heels into the ground. Okay, and just stand for a moment. So both heels are on the ground, both toes are lined up, yes? Now, the goal is to keep the back leg straight. You can bend the front knee as much as you need to. As you inhale, reach up. Now bend your front knee to begin, and as you exhale, we're just gonna fold over. You bend the front leg as much as you need to, but try to keep your back leg straight, and once you drop your head down, see if you can straighten both legs out a little bit more. But definitely keep the back leg straight. And can you shift the weight to go evenly between both feet so you're not leaning to one side or the other? Take one more breath here. Tuck your chin and roll up. No rush. Roll up. Good, step apart. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring your left across your right. Look down, match your toes up. Press your heels down, both feet are flat on the ground. Hips are straight, you're not leaning or tipping to one side and you're folding over, bend your front knee, straighten your back leg, and breathe. On the next breath, roll your body up. Remembering that each stretch needs minimum 30 seconds to take hold. So we're taking time in those stretches. We don't wanna just drop into a stretch and then move to the next one because that doesn't help you become more flexible or release your body back to where it was. Let's take a nice wide chest expansion. You start with your arms to a T and then you try to squeeze your shoulder blades together behind you. So your arm, my arms you can see are pulling back and back and back. And now I'm gonna try to pull back and just get my hands to come together and clasp my hand. If you can't clasp your hand, I guess I don't see a towel. If I had a shirt or a towel, you could always bridge the gap. Or if you don't have anything to grab, just put your hands on your hips. But if you can, get your hands to clasp together. Let's start with a little back bend. Look up, breathe. And now as you exhale, you're gonna bend your knees. Keep your hands together, set your chest down in your thighs. Let your arms fall. Your arms fall over the back of the head. Let them just dangle there. Let them hang there and feel not just your chest expansion, but also anterior deltoid. That's your shoulder front. Letting it breathe. can stay right there, release your hands down to the floor, and then bring your hands to your thighs as you roll your back up. Give it a little leverage, give it a little room, draw your shoulders up, back, and down. Good, last stretch is just for the triceps, a little bit of a push down on that elbow behind the back of the head. I've got my arm behind me, I've got the palm of my hand back here on my back, just pressing my hand in my back, pressing down on that elbow breathing and trying to go for more length, not just being here, but actually making the stretch more effective. Be thoughtful in it. Release, open your hands behind you, and then bring them right back up and take the other side. 
And again, put the hand, the palm of the hand on the back as you're pushing into the outer edge of that elbow. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here today. It's such a good workout. It's such a good balance of two things that we don't get enough of, and that being strength training and stretching. So I'm glad you took the time for both today. You have a great rest of your day. I hope to see you again very soon. And until then, make sure you hydrate and make sure you go get your protein to build on that strength that you just worked. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks again. Thank you, Sarika.